y'all your girl Lani here came back to you guys with another video if you guys are new to my channel hi I am Leilani I do all sorts of videos in this specific video though I am doing Bible talk videos it's just like a whole little segment of me sharing my passion for Jesus and just you know sharing it with the world sharing it with my subscribers and with the other people that are watching if you guys haven't already please hit subscribe so you can see more videos of moi I'm just kidding. Please hit the subscribe button to see more videos of me. I do all sorts of videos, hair videos, curly hair videos, Jesus talk videos. You know, it might be fun, you know? But please hit like to this video if you guys did enjoy. Leave a comment, subscribe, turn the little bell on because YouTube playing with people's videos. But we're not going to talk about this today. So today is Bible Day 3. <laughs> Bible Day 3. Today's video topic is how to pray praying prayer and how you can do it <laughs> i feel like when people think of prayer i feel like people just they don't like it i believe that most people do not like to pray i believe that they feel like it is a hassle for them and i feel like it's a hassle for them because sometimes they don't know how to pray and prayer and praying is a very important thing in a Christian's or in a believer's life because it is something that connects us more with God and brings us closer to Jesus and his father God. You may ask yourself, what is a prayer? What is praying? What do you do when you pray? What do you say? How are you supposed to act? So they have all of these questions about praying and how to pray. And today I'll try to answer them as best to my ability as I can. I read this little story and it said that praying to them felt like repetition. And that sometimes could be true because people think that praying is a repetition, like a script, and it's really not. You shouldn't have to repeat something over and over and over and over because that is going to get boring. And that's not really what praying is. Praying shouldn't feel like a hassle and it shouldn't feel like you have a script and you shouldn't feel like you need to be obligated to say this, this, and this. No, this is the most simplest way that I can explain praying. This is what my parents have always taught me and what I've always been taught to say and how I've been always taught to pray is that praying is talking to a friend. You have to see and think of God as your best friend. You have to trust him, you have to love him, and you have to know that he's gonna be the one person that's always gonna be there for you and that is never going to leave you. Now you may ask yourself, how does praying build a relationship with God? Building a relationship with God is just like building a relationship with a human being. You like the person, so you try to get to know them, you talk to them, you do everything in your will to be able to get a word out of that person. So it's just like the same thing with God. If you really desire in your heart to get to know God and you really feel like you want to get to know God better, you want to build that connection. You want to find different ways so you can talk to God. You want to find different ways so you can try to build that bond. So it can really start to be a day-to-day -day basis type thing. And the way that I build a relationship with God is I tell him and I let him know how I feel. I tell him why I am the way I am. I tell him why I do certain things that I do. I tell him all my deepest secrets even though he already knows everything about me because he created me, God still wants us to share those personal information and God still wants us to share all of the things that we do on a day-to-day -day basis. When you are praying, you are talking to God. So it's just the same way if you're talking to your real life mom and dad. I know that personally when I see my parents walking around the house, I'd be like, hey mom and dad, how's your guys' day going? And then they tell me and then I just listen and then I go off to tell them, how my day is going and I go off to tell them about this and this and that and this and how this upset me and they give me their opinion and they and we have a conversation back and forth and while we're having that conversation we're building a trust and we're building that bond that a daughter and a parent has to have so it's just the same way as a daughter or a person with God he wants us to build that trust. Even though we can't personally hear him talking back to us, trust me, he's going to let us feel his presence. How I start my prayers would be telling God about my day. I just talk to him like if he was a physical person. 
because even though we can't see him, I can definitely feel him and I can feel him even more when I'm praying to him because I'm building that bond and I'm building that connection that I need. You know, many people that put on a smile and, and, and pretend like they're happy, they're really one of the most people that really need somebody to talk to. And trust me, I get it. Not many people trust other people to tell them about their problems and to tell them about different things that's going on in their lives because they feel like they're going to betray them. And they're going to be like, no, they're going to judge me and this and this and that and this. Trust me, I was one of those people. And so I decided to take everything that I felt inside and talk to God. Even if I wasn't physically, you know, need against my bed and telling him, I even wrote journals I wrote some notes on my phone and I just explained to God how much anger I had inside and different things that was going on all around me. And after I wrote those notes on my phone or I physically wrote on paper or, you know, I was even praying, I would feel so much better because everything that was inside me, I let him know. I let it all out. Even though in that moment, I knew that things were still going to be the same i knew that one day things were going to get better because when we pray and we ask god and we tell god about how we feel and about the problems that we're having and we ask him to help us he's going to help us maybe not today maybe not tomorrow but we have to have faith that one day it's going to get better In luke 11 1 the disciples themselves didn't really know how to pray so not knowing how to pray you shouldn't be ashamed it's not something that's like oh i don't know how to pray that's fine there's not a right or wrong way to pray honestly just praying is talking to a friend and in luke 11 1 the disciples asked jesus himself jesus teach us how to pray and jesus responded this is how you should pray jesus goes on to say and he starts the prayer by our father in heaven hallowed be your name that prayer right there is a prayer that many people will just do in repetition every single night and that was just an example of Jesus showing disciples how to pray. You shouldn't repeat that prayer every single night because that's not really praying. Prayer is not a repetition. Prayer is not something that you have like, you know, an example of this is how you should pray. That's not what prayer is. Prayer has to come from the heart. You have to just pour your heart out and just tell God how you feel. Ask him to help you share your passions for your dreams share him all your goals tell him what you want to do in the next year tell him what you want to do tomorrow ask him to help you ask him to help you in school ask him to help you in that relationship that you're going through ask him to be the center of your life we have to wake up every single morning and pray we have to pray for our food and give thanks we have to before we go to sleep we have to pray there's not really an amount of times that like you need to pray and how long you should pray. It's not how long, it's not how many times you pray. It's about how you do it and if it comes from the heart or not. In the Bible, we see so many times how Jesus goes off and prays. He goes off to the mountain, he goes off away from people, and he just prays. He prays to his father, God. And during those times that Jesus is praying, he's building a relationship with his father. And that relationship is just like a relationship that you would have with your dad, you would have with your mom. And it's like, you know, when your dad takes your hand as a little kid and tells you, oh, let's cross the street. And you don't even look to your left or right side. Why? Because you trust them. So when we're praying to God, it's showing him that we trust him. It's showing him that we're letting all of our feelings come to him and we're explaining to him of why we feel the way that we feel. We need to know that when we pray, we are building that bond and that trust with God. One thing that we must say in a prayer is always try to confess our sins. We should confess our sins and tell God and let him know what you did, what you did wrong. Tell God how you messed up, tell him what happened, why did you do it when we're praying we have to know that when we're confessing our sins god's not going to judge you he's going to help you one very important thing that my parents always told me is that we have 24 hours in a day we're on our phones we're sleeping we're eating we're hanging out with friends we're going shopping we're going to work all of these things but we have 24 hours in a day so why can't we take out an hour 30 minutes to just talk to God, to just tell him how our day went, to just confess our sins, to ask him to forgive us for anything wrong that we did throughout the day or in our lifetimes. 
And last but not least, I want to tell you guys and compare how our relationship with God is almost the same as a relationship with a significant other. In a relationship with a significant other, you want to build a trust. You want to get to know the person. You want to have deep talks. You want to you want to vibe with the person. That's the same exact thing with God. You want to have deep talks. You want to feel that connection. You want to be able to trust God. In a relationship with your significant other and a relationship with God, if you don't tell one another how you feel, how are you ever going to know what's really wrong with the person or how is God ever supposed to know what's going on with you? Tell God all your secrets. It's nice to tell people that you trust and people that you love the biggest secrets that you have inside of your heart, the things that you never told anybody. Tell God all those things. Even you may not trust that person, you can trust God. You can tell them. He's not going to tell nobody. He's not going to judge you. He's not going to look at you any different. He's going to forgive you if you ask him for forgiveness. He's not going to put up a fight and be like, no, I shouldn't forgive you. This is your third time doing this. He's not like that. God is going to forgive you if you really mean it from the heart. One thing we have to know about God is that he doesn't want us to perish. He doesn't want us to go to hell. He doesn't want for us to stay here on this earth. He doesn't want us to suffer. He doesn't want us to go through the things that we go through. But we go through the things that we go through because we don't invite God into our lives. We don't let him come in and help us. One thing that I want to make clear with everyone is that just because you pray and just because you're Christian and just because you decide to follow Jesus, it doesn't mean that your life is going to get any easier. It doesn't mean that you're going to live a perfect life. It doesn't mean that nothing wrong is going to go on to you. No. Trust me, when you decide to follow Jesus and when you decide to give your life to him, you're going to face even harder time. One thing that we do have that others don't is that God is on our side. God is going to help us deal with whatever we're going to deal. So invite God into your life. Tell him that he is welcome to help you. Share with him your deepest secrets. Tell him why you're hurting. Confess your sins. Ask him for forgiveness. And I promise you, you will see a change in your life. Before I end this video, I want to show you guys a little DIY that we created to show you how to pray and show you what you need to pray for. This is called the prayer hand. The first section is worship. So sing to him holy songs. God wants to hear you sing to him. Even though you may not have the prettiest voice, he still wants to hear you sing to him. Second, confess your sins. Tell him how you messed up and ask him for forgiveness. Don't ever forget to ask God for forgiveness. Give thanks. Say thank you to him for what you have and for the good and the bad in your life. Fourth finger, talk to him. He's your friend. Ask for what you need. What does your heart desire? How can God help you? Ask for what you want. I encourage you guys to take a screenshot of this so this little hand, I have it besides my bed. Mine is in Spanish, but this is the little idea that my mom had for us in our Bible study group. We made it on July 16, 2019. I have this against my bed and every single night, night before I pray, I just read the little fingers and I remind myself, what am I praying for? I, I encourage you guys to make this hand at home. Cut it out, doesn't have to be as pretty, but try to make it from the heart. Cut it out put it against your wall, and before you go to sleep, think about all these things and make it into a prayer. I thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you guys have any questions of anything, please don't be afraid to leave in the comment box, DM me, email me, anything, you guys. I'm here to help you guys. But thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, loves. <laughs>